feeling a little crooked today. A little, a little, I don't know why the screen is a little crooked. Uh, maybe I'm just a little off kilter today because it's Monday. I'm going to start the, the day out with a, uh, a little askew, a little askew. Uh, today is Monday. This is Art Talk, episode 23. Episode 23, i got to write that down because that's almost a blow mine. That's a blow mine. Uh, we are live on Facebook. Uh, we're waiting for the, the first person to come on in, and it's Wes Nielsen, winner. Winner. Good morning, Wes. Uh, you get the checkered flag. You're the first one in. I took about, I don't know, 12 seconds. Good morning. Uh, get ready for our talk. Pete Hawk is in the house. Good morning, Pete. I hope you're having a spectacular day down south in the OC. Uh, I hope it's as nice as it is here. A little tropical last night. Um, I don't mind saying it. Last night, uh, sleeping and feeling a little bit tropical in the air. Uh, Bill Bastian, good morning. Uh, Bill, where are you tuning in from? Cool, cool. Uh, so we got some uh, good stuff today. We're not going to spend too much time because you guys don't need too much time away from your day to get the ball rolling and get things going uh, to feel good. Uh, good morning, Chris Ackerson. Sorry, Erickson. I don't know why I keep flopping it. Uh, Erickson, yes, good morning. Uh, gonna have a great day today. Um, got some fun stuff coming up with Chris at the La Jolla Concourse. That's gonna be cool. Uh, going down to see uh, a lot of hoity-toity vehicles, a lot of amazing cars. Um, cars that none of us grew up with, you know, like Delahaye's and things like that. Um, if I had a Delahaye, it was about that big. You know, that was that was kind of my, my deal. Um, uh, there was a uh, there's a Delahaye at the Peterson that has a great story. Something about it was belonged to the uh, the World's Fair, and they found it in a barn somewhere, and then restored it because kids were playing on it and and cows were pooping on it, things like that. Not really sure. Um, good morning. This is Art Talk episode 23. We are live on Facebook. Uh, this will be reposted on YouTube, so you can watch it there. Uh, yep, uh, Chris knows about that. And uh, uh, as it being live, you can ask questions. You can interact with each other. Chris, you can say hi to Wes. Pete, you can say hi to Wes. Hey, everybody, say hi to Wes, because that's what we can do. Uh, we are basically having coffee this morning. I got my Tim's cup. Good to go. Although I do anticipate some juice coming in any minute from that doorway over there. Um, let's do a quick book update before we get started. Um, I am currently working on the Porsche book. I was hoping to have it done on the first. Today is the first. Uh, April Fools, it's not done. You know, uh, I wanted to have it done, but it's going to be about a week late. Just too many things going on at the museum. A lot of stuff, uh, especially this week. We got Muscles and Mojo coming in. Chris Moody, welcome from Germany. Uh, you guys want to see the cover? Here's the here's just the line drawing of the cover. Nine fifty nine. Right there. Yeah, that's going to be the cover. Um, slowly. It's slowly evolving. It's getting there. We're, I'm about nine sketches in, and I got about 11 more. So I'm going to try to finish those this week. Do best I can. And uh, if you didn't know, uh, which I think you guys do, but if people watch this later, uh, my name is Fireball. I'm your host, and my company is Fireball Publishing, where we do uh, automotive coloring books like this. This this says vet. It doesn't say etiv. Be a German word. I don't know. Uh, Michael Short, uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Check it out. Um, that's the book update. A uh, little bit of background. Uh, I'm a car designer. Always been a car designer. Uh, worked in movies for many, many years. Um, lots of movie cars. Uh, starting with the Batmobile from the Michael Keaton movie, and lots of other things. Uh, went from Art Center to Disney Imagineering into movies. Uh, into TV shows, and then finally into the blog, in the blog and my publishing company. And that's what we do now. Um, if you have not checked out Wes's vlog, be sure to do that, The Daily Driver Project. He's got a great vlog. He goes to car shows because it's car show day, as he says on that blog. And if you want to see what's going on with virtually every car show you know, on the Southern California planet, uh, check out Wes because he's, he's killing it. All right, let's talk a little bit today about our subject. Let's kind of just get into this. And that, um, that subject I want to focus on today is um, four steps for successful creativity. Now, uh, that means, um, it, it doesn't necessarily mean four steps, for, four steps for wealth, four steps on how to make money. But if you're successful, creatively speaking, then you can apply that to that, that process. And uh, what's more important than wealth is uh, fulfillment. 
is uh, to be happy, to enjoy yourself. Yeah, Wes, thanks for point posting that. You're uh, the website there. Check him out. Great photographer. Wes is one of our photographers at the uh, the uh, Murphy, uh, the Fireball Gallery. Uh, looks like Ken is joining us too. Ken Vella's in the house. What's up? MC Ken Vella, uh, who just came back from uh, Benedict Castle. Uh, it was a great show. I, I, I saw some photos uh, with Barry McGuire and with um, Gene Winfield. Uh, some great stuff. So uh, today we're going to talk about four steps for successful creativity. That is applying your creative prowess, your creative process, and um, uh, having a successful creative outcome, whatever that may be, whether you're building uh, a, a brand, uh, whether you're building a car show, uh, whether you're building a car, whether you're creating some kind type of artwork, uh, we are creative beings and that's what we do. And, uh, and that's what we focus on here on Our Talk, episode 23. 23 episodes. We're killing it. Uh, be sure to check out the vlog at fireballteam.com. We are at episode 911. 912 goes up tomorrow, if all goes well. It seems to be going well. Okay, so the first step in uh, in creating a successful creative process is uh, is getting in the right mindset. That's that's the first step, and and that's not that's the most the easiest one to necessarily understand, but the most challenging to actually do. And getting in that in that creative process is I want you guys to prepare for success. Is that you have to get into the mindset of expecting the best, of expecting that this is going to be kick ass. This is going to be awesome. Whether I'm going to build a car, it's going to be amazing. Whether I'm going to design a car, whether I'm going to do this program, whether I'm going to build this business, no matter what it is that you get into, you got to prepare for success. You got to get into that mindset that this is getting done. Okay. We're Monday and uh, uh, we have an entire week ahead of us. And that means a variety of successful days. But, you know, I saw a lot of people over the weekend and I interact with a lot of people at shows and things like that. Went to Ventura Cars and Coffee and you talk to people and uh, their mindset isn't that. Their mindset is kind of like, uh, well, this might happen and that might happen. And, you know, I want to do it, but there's, you know, all kinds of hurdles, things like that. Uh, Robert Smith, thanks for joining us. Marlon Mitchell, thanks for joining us. Awesome. Uh, enjoying today. Four steps to creative success and we're on step one. And that is preparing in the getting in the mindset of kicking ass. And uh, you got to put yourself in that mindset. You got to commit. Uh, you can't be on the fence. You can't be looking at the fence. You can't be digging up the fence. You got to be jumping over uh, as if the fence not, is not even there. Uh, you got to be Neo from the Matrix, right? Okay. Um, you know, the reason that, you know, when we watched the movie The Matrix, uh, the reason that Neo could not become the one was because his, of his belief system, is he wasn't sure he was the one. He wasn't. He didn't really know what the one was. And over time, his belief system started to grow, started to get stronger. And because it got stronger, it began to reveal itself. And that in itself is the key, is the more you, the stronger your belief is about a given thing, the more that reveals itself to you, the more success that you have. So if you believe yourself wealthy, if you believe yourself successful, if you believe yourself healthy, and you know it in your, in your core, then then it's the the fluidity of that is a is like you're in the middle of the river and you're you're moving you're moving but what stops that flow is the lack of belief the unsuredness the I'm not sure that's a word but I like it uh it's the 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 levels of belief that we have and according to how strong our belief is in any given direction is what we get back from it take the red pill and not the blue one uh, take the red and the blue. Yeah, take both. Take both pills. Why not? You know, never know. Uh, so that's that was the premise of the Matrix, and it was a very good metaphor for life. And that's the reason that lots of people responded to it. It did very well because they didn't necessarily understand. They weren't necessarily aware of them, the underlying message. But the underlying message has to do with our life, and, and that's the way it works. So getting yourself in the right, right mindset to prepare yourself for success, and success is the only thing that's going to happen here, then that's what you prepare for. Second step, number two, is focus, right? Yeah, focus is, <laughs> I had to focus, I wrote it down, uh, uh, is to maintain a level of focus. That's maintaining a level of awareness. And the awareness is, I'm preparing for success, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna funnel myself down that road, right into, right into that little funnel, right there, right into that, into that pinpoint. Hold on a second. Can you hear that? Yeah, there's juice coming. It's coming. Good morning, Marlon. 
Hope you're having a spectacular day today. Uh, and if you're not, turn that switch on, buddy, because uh, it's a. I expect to have a spectacular day, and I'm putting myself in the right mindset with you guys, and that's why you guys are watching here. Put yourself in a mindset of success, and success comes. It's as simple as that. And then you want to focus. You want to focus. That's step two. You want to focus on what it is that you're trying to achieve, and you want to take steps. If each success step is a successful step, then you're going to make your way towards it and you assure success. Okay. Number three is your physiology. Your physiology is very important about how you, your physical body approaches these things, you know, and you understand, you can see that when people are depressed, their head's low, their shoulders are slumped, you know, it's like this kind of stuff, right? But when you're excited, your shoulders are up, your, your voice is high, you're, um, you're committed, uh, your physiology is very important. And if you're not in the right physical state, you gotta put yourself in that state. You gotta jump around, you gotta, you gotta bounce up and down like this, okay? You gotta do this kind of stuff. Put yourself in an exciting state, in a state that assures success because that's where success comes from. So physiology is extremely important. That's step three, okay? You getting this so far? The last step, and probably the largest step, the biggest step, my hands are shaking just from all the excitement. Isn't that cool? Adrenaline's flowing. Hell yeah. Okay, so fourth step, the biggest step, uh, it's not necessarily the easiest as far as um, uh, defining the answer, but the, it's the largest question. And the largest question is, what is my purpose? What, what's the reason that I'm doing this? Because the why is the most important thing about this is that if you're attempting to build a car or you're going to be building a business or in, in Chris's, uh, Chris Erickson's uh, secret car club, he wants to build a, a system by which people enjoy themselves around cars and have great events, um, secret car club events, the door is open and there it is. <laughs> We're on pause. Boop. What have we got? This Okay. is the cure-all to everything. So forget everything I've told you, just drink this juice. All right. Yeah. Four oranges, uh -huh. one lime with the peel on, five cloves of garlic. Oh my God. And a quarter of a pineapple and a little dollop of superfood. Okay. This will cure anything. And the thing I can prove is I had a cold two days ago uh -huh. and now it's gone. Two days. Two days. Uh, if you have a cold, you're not feeling good. Drink this. Uh, this is recorded on to, you can watch this later on, on YouTube. So if you didn't get all that information, but you can drink this and, and it'll be gone. It'll that, be gone. Those Oof. ingredients were for two people. So five, so five cloves of garlic for two. So I'm getting two and a half in here. I don't know. I may have left a little extra in yours. Thank you very much. Woo. <laughs> wow. Garlicky, orangey, Yes, uh, it's good that you guys aren't seeing me in person right now because you would smell it, okay? Just saying, but fantastic. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, I'm off to do yoga. I wonder if she's going to be able to smell it. Mm. I don't want to put smell with the word yoga. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome. All right, have fun. Bye. Bye. Okay, wow. Uh, quite spectacular. One more sip. Mm. Mm. You know, it's the first... The first drink is the one that's the harshest, but then it just start, starts to smooth out. Oh man, that's good. That's good. Okay. So we were talking about our fourth step. Let's recap real quick that the first step is preparing for success. Good morning, Trent. Welcome to the fold. Uh, second step is focus. Third step is your physiology, getting yourself in a physical state where you feel good, man. This is about feeling good. And the fourth step is understanding the why. Why are you doing this? What's What's important about this? Chris, you got to ask yourself, why is it important to do the secret car club events? You know, what is it that you're giving to these people? What is it that you're giving to yourself? What is it that you're trying, what's the difference you're trying to make in the world? All right, same thing with you, Ken Vela. You know, when you do MCs or you're building a car, you got to ask yourself, you know, why is this important? Every single thing that we attempt to do, same thing with you, Wes, you got a new business starting. I'm so excited to tell you guys what Wes's new business is, but I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say it because Wes is not ready yet. He's working on his business cards. It's gonna be kick-ass and every single one of you guys is gonna wanna hire Wes to do what he does because he's a badass. Uh, so the why is important. The why is important, it's supremely important. What is my purpose? You know, what's the reason that I'm doing this? And the answer, 
You ready for the answer? Because you guys already know what the answer is. The answer is fulfillment, is you want to be happy about your life. You want to feel good about your life, and your life can only feel good if you stop focusing on yourself and start focusing on what you do creatively as a creative person and how you can give that to the world. That's it, my friends. In a nutshell, if I had a nutshell, I'd put it inside that. But instead, all I have is a garlic orange juice. Uh-oh. Did I say five cloves of garlic? Uh -huh. I meant six. <laughs> I can taste that sixth one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Although it wasn't fully blended, I just crunched it. <laughs> mm. Really? Mm. Yep. I'm going to have yoga, but I'm bringing her some juice, oh too. Oh, my God. So oh she'll God. smell like me. Okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> Great. Good to know. Bye. Um, Chris says, as cheesy as that sounds. What is it? What? what? As what sounds? I'm talking to these guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, as cheesy as, as it, it does sound cheesy. It does sound cheesy. But, you know, people, uh, our job, our, yeah, breath test, our goal as human beings is very simple. It's to go from a lack of awareness to being aware. And that process is the process for it, for everyone, everyone on the planet. And not everybody is going to get that in this lifetime. That's just the, the bottom line of it. Uh, if you guys can be introduced to that ideal and begin to work that muscle to where you are working your awareness, working from a, a lack of it to where, because you know when I was a kid and I was a teenager and I was even a young adult, I wasn't aware of anything but myself and, you know, and how the world affects me and I just want to do the shit that I want to do. And as a result of doing that, uh, it wasn't hitting the level of success that I wanted to. Um, you know, in, and so I'm not talking monetary success. Uh, you can make a lot of money and still be completely unaware, you know, but you're not fulfilled. You, it, the money is not fulfilling to you. I had a friend, Bill Chadwick, who was a billionaire and uh, had everything that, that, that a person could want, a great family, uh, everybody loved him, and uh, but he was just afraid of getting old. And as a result of, of that, he shot himself. And this happened about seven months ago, right? So fulfillment does not come from making a ton of money. Fulfillment comes from doing one thing, doing what you love and loving what you do. It's as simple as that, people, okay? The four steps as a quick recap before we wrap everything up, and that is prepare yourself for success. Put yourself in a mindset of success. I'm going to kill it today. I'm going to kill it. That's going to be it. I'm done. I'm committed, right? Number two, focus all your energy on what it is that you're trying to achieve. Number three, change your physiology so you feel good, so you're empowered and you move forward, okay? Every single step, feel good. Get yourself in a state that feels awesome. And number four, what is my purpose? What is your purpose? What's the reason that you're doing things? You got to have a why that's in capital, big, bold letters, right? So you know the reason that you're doing this, and that's important. And the last thing that it has to be is it can't be about you. It can't be about you. You're going to feel fulfilled from doing it, but you feel fulfilled when you give gifts. Okay, the dogs are going nuts. It's yoga time. Yoga time. What are you doing in here? Hold on a second. Go get out of here. Go get her. <laughs> Our dogs are nuts when someone shows up at the door. Okay, so that's basically it. Okay, guys? A uh, quick outro, and that is we have Muscles and Mojo happening this Sunday. you got to come to this event. It's free coffee, free matchbox cars. The uh, the museum is free this time. You can come into the museum. You can see all the stuff we just bought from Santa Cruz, the 1927 Holt trailer, the 48 Woody that we just took to the Ventura Cars and Coffee, uh, which we'll have a vlog uh, coming up this week on that. And... Um, some spectacular stuff, but very excited. Wednesday is my birthday. It's my birthday. And for my birthday, what am I going to do? Well, I guess you'll have to watch tomorrow's Art Talk to find out because I've got some plans. Yep. And uh, But uh, next Saturday is our, our granddaughter's birthday, Abigail. That's going to be her birthday. She's a little Aries also. Super cool. And I'm currently driving the Cadillac XT4, their SUV. That's going to be an upcoming vlog. All right? So have a spectacular day. It's up to you. Focus. Nail it down. Kick some ass. And... Game over. All right? Live your life. Love what you do. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs>